weekend. It's shaping up to be high pressure, really is the boss and dominating in our forecast. And it is still the last weekend of summer. Who would have thought it, right? The evening is shaping up to be quite the mild one in the city. Really fair conditions. The big story in weather today is really this U.S. winter storm that's going to affect our friends over on the east side of Canada. We are continuing to cool down, edging closer to our overnight low of a minus six in the city. We have gone. Records.com and then I am great testing me such a big figure on CP24. <laughs> CP24 is really popular station, it especially is. news and everything. Mm -hmm. And I saw it so many times from the, you know, like a TV, right? <laughs> so I'm standing here at, Na uh, this is like Nathan Phillips Square. That's right. right? Yeah. In front of like a CP24 car. Yeah, a breaking and then news she is, truck. Yeah, okay. So what's your name? My name is Patricia Jagernon and I do the weather and some like fun hearted, uh, you know, stories and reporting on Toronto. Okay. So what it's like to work as a reporter? Because you know, you're the face, right? Yeah. We oh my God, look at me. There's a, there's a lot of personalities on CP24 <laughs> and oh, okay. in Toronto as you Oh, okay, okay. Is there a interview? Yeah, you're having an interview, actually, yeah. You're having an interview, yeah. And, uh, yeah. You, know, you know, being a part of the family is really, really amazing. Uh, yeah. It's a really modernized take on news, I would say. Okay. So it's more relatable to people in, like, your age category. Okay. And the thing is, it's really known for weather. So being okay. a weather specialist, I really pride on that. I know yeah. people are tuning in to know what the weather is, because weather really starts your day. Okay. Uh, but we don't only have weather specialists. We also have meteorologists. We okay. have anchors. We okay. have reporters. We have traffic specialists. Wow, it's like a family, It's right? like a huge family. Oh, my God. Everyone one kind of brings their part and makes it a full cool Wow, my gosh. So basically, you know what? Uh, my mission is to bring more Korean people to come to Canada. Okay. Enjoy, maximize their life here yeah. in Canada, right? And then anything that pops up to, uh, pops up to your mind, yeah. anything that you want to recommend to our viewers. Once you come to Toronto, do this. What is you that? know what? you got to visit the landmark. So we have Old City Hall, which okay. is just beside Nathan Film Square. you got to walk up and down Queen Street. Take Young Street in. It's the longest street in the world. Okay, Not in just in Canada. In okay. the world. You want to go shopping? Head to Eaton Center. It's one of the biggest malls that we have in Ontario. Oh my God. Uh, but Canada is so rich in culture. You know, it's not yeah. only Toronto, even though I'm from here, so I'm yeah. really biased. I love my city. <laughs> <laughs> you can go to the east and, you know, whale watch in okay. uh, Newfoundland. Yeah. You can go all the way to the west and see whether that's Vancouver. More. Right? Vancouver, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can go skiing in okay. Banff in Alberta. Okay. We have everything. Oh and my God. Four seasons in Toronto, yeah. so you get summer, spring, yeah. fall, winter. You see it all. Oh my God. You took well. Thank you, That's very why you're a reporter, right? There you go. That's why you're looking for CP24. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so far, I'm Reed. Nice to meet you. I'm Reed. Oh, am I? Your name? Patricia. Oh, Patricia, yeah, yes, yeah. Sorry, I was sorry. like a soul. Oh it's my okay. God, so she's beautiful and then I'm watching. Oh, okay, yeah. Stop. So anyway, I'm Reed. Patricia, and yeah. then thank you for watching, you know, TalkToCanadians.com, and then talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, bye. Good luck. Thank you. I really appreciate it. They want me, to, want me to remember me if, like, you know, I went to a show of Tiesto, I saw him DJing, and it changed my life. As a male designer, how do you do it so well, and how do you know how clothing fit perfectly on a woman's body? That's the part I love. A little teaser before we see what's hot on that runway. How are you, Joe? I'm very good. Yeah, hopefully I'll make it through the night. You've definitely been one of the guys in Black Jays to break out into mainstream and has now conquered American, the American music scene. How does that make you feel? That's good, man, because we've been working for a long time.